Hello everybody, welcome back to Brick Motorsport. And yes, today I'm going to be building my first ever Lego Creator Expert modular building and it's the 2020 bookshop. The number is 10270 with 2,504 pieces. It comes with two, it comes with a townhouse here and a bookshop here with a supposed birch tree uh, with one, two, three, four, five, at least five minute figures there. But the boy got his plane stuck in the tree and these are very just like always these can be connected with other modulars which will probably get soon like i said i'm going to get the corner garage suit and connect it to and i'm going to get the pieces to the diner and parisian restaurant uh anyway these can be separated you can put like on this side or in the front like the townhouse was on the right there there's multiple rooms and the uh, and uh, the rooms come off just very easily. Uh, let me just take a look and let's see what's inside. It's a huge thing. I got two 16 by 32 base plates, probably, probably because uh, let's connect them here. Makes it 32. Two big instructions. Uh, no stickers at all. I don't have a to go. Seven plate. Bag of more plates. Three, four, six, eight, four, another two, five, another four, another six, one, one, seven, three, two. So I think there's a total of eight bags here. With the exception of the books and uh, more 8 by 16, 6 by uh, plates here with, and with the big base plates. Anyway, uh, I will do a review at the end. This will take a substantially more longer time. It's a bigger set. Just sit back and relax and stay tuned. Bye.
But for you guys, it was time lapse. We have finished the Creator Expert 2020 Modular Bookshop. Man, this thing is massive. I cannot believe uh, how big this is in person. It's just on film, just like this, for you guys, this thing might look small to you guys, unless you have this set. But man, this is huge. Uh, let's first take a look at the minifigures. And then I will uh, talk again uh, more. But let's get the review over with. Uh, here is the boy minifigure with small pants and a ban uh, banana uh, torso with a blue and black uh, checkered sweater there with the scarf. Green. And he's got a nervous face with a winter hat and a smiley face on the back. Uh, he has. A little mad and nervous because his plane got stuck up in the birch tree and that's why it's called birch books because it's the birch tree right there and here is the fall and actually of the time of the building this it is october 3rd so right around the corner and also right around the corner for the new 2021 modular or 2022 sorry next we have the female minifigure with the light blue pants and the pink and purple uh shirt torso piece there she has only one uh, alternate uh, two actually sleeping face and a smiley because she uh, in a second I'll show you the inside there is the townhouse and bo uh, bedroom as she is the owner of the bookstore she has a nice giant hair piece there next up we have a, a male here with a uh, tan nougat uh, hair piece with to a smiley face and another smirk a uh, happy face there with holding a flower and he just got the Moby brick uh, book and it says once upon a time as a stickered element there he has nice uh, straps there holding his pants up uh, that are also nougat brown with a red uh, shirt and a uh, tan or yellow looking tie there I'll just sit there. Next up, we have the the couple that lives in the townhouse here, and here is the female with the dark blue pants with the the sweater uh, over her light blue uh, shirt on the inside. There, she has two alternate faces, I believe. Uh, almost lipstick, the lipstick. I, I don't really, I can't really tell the difference there. But she has a nice hair piece as well. Here we have the male, which is a red and darker red uh, checkered polo, not polo, uh, shirt there with uh, gray pants, and he has a beard, a smiley face, and no alternate face. On top is a green or uh, gray, actually, uh, wig boy uh, hair piece. I think is what it's called. And these can stand. A few of these minifigures figures could stand on these jumper plates here. Uh, let me just on a few of these jump plates here uh, with all these dark gray uh, uh, tiles there on uh, as a sidewalk. Uh, here, let's take a look at the uh, plane that was on here. The boys' plane is not too difficult. A little propeller with uh, this rocket piece and uh, this uh, one by five brick. The Technic hole in it with uh, studs on the top there, and this can stick anywhere on a tree or anything. And here on the bottom here, 
uh, his little planner was actually I really like these black or burnt looking uh, hot dog pieces that are clipped on with modified plates that make it look like a planter like you see like you'll see in the city and I will be changing up some of these uh, tiles there and I'm created into a mill system when I get more pieces in the city and a probably soon city update also we have in the front here if you can see back there is a little book stand in the front like oh uh make the minifigures and say no let me go see if there's anything better in here when you're looking at a book or you just stand there say hey i'm buying something you know just uh, stand up uh here on the next right of the townhouse here we have a little uh a lamp white lamp here uh and some uh lime green and green uh uh, plant pieces with flowers on the top there are surrounded in a cement like brick uh, in a garden there and here is a site uh, steps up with these nice weird fence elements uh, it leads up to the doorway in there that pushes through and here on the top here we get a better angle with this here we have the number 107 that is a uh, the street number house number there here we also have nice uh, windows here in the front around this uh, facade area here I really like these modified bricks down the, oh, down there uh, it, it makes it really nice there also this uh, nice big sl curve slope uh, piece there makes it makes the roof uh, the rain go off the roof and down the windows that will be really look really cool I'm going to actually move this tree and uh, take it off for a second because it's only held in by uh, Technic pins down in there and it is held in by the Technic brick with the holes in it on oh, a snap brick on the bottom there. there. I'll be there. Also on this tree, let me take a look, there is a nice uh, scarf head piece as a nest with a nice little blue bird. And that is one of my favorite pieces along with the chameleon that's inside of this in a second here is uh tiled bricks this is birch books nice little lamp here uh, i can hang over and nice uh one by one tiles to make a nice grand entrance in there here on the top we have some more window work and more uh one by one bricks uh make it a nice appeal to the building here and I like the transition to the nougat to the red and gray up there and nice curves with these tiles over here don't mind these lines on the screen if you could see that it's just the LEDs that are behind the building and above it uh, so here we can have some lighting here I really like these microphone pieces that are on uh, jumpers that are on like this one by one hill on a snow cone and microphone pieces there uh, on the townhouse section, uh, I like these pillar pieces along as as you were able to see right here by the windows here. And just above that is just two more windows on the left side above the entrance of the door where two more of these lights are. So you know where you're going. There along with uh, more of these roof looking pieces with all these one by one tiles that are all held on by hinges here and here we have the fences up top and the chimney that comes out the side here while we're over on the side let's take a look at the side here Oop. bottom is just nothing this uh this is part i really don't like and i'll show you what it is in a second is a fireplace there but but you won't be able to see it once you have enough uh modulars there connected to these uh, pinholes down here which these connect to as you saw at the end of the building section of the video here we have uh, plants more planters right here as there's a back door and a back window to let some air out and more back windows here so you can get out on the porch and look at the nice neighborhood same thing over here you just have another entrance to the door more fences so you don't fall off Two chairs with a table and a cup there, uh, and these hinges, uh, window pieces that open up and uh, close up, uh, so you get some airflow through, realistic air. 
here on the bottom here. There is nice steps here uh, to go up to the real main entrance to the door as this is more elevated and here this door is an entrance to the attic part or uh, not attic, basement part of the thing of the building. As you see these are all like uh, like light gray there as it is the foundation uh, right on the edge of where the garden is with the pumpkin and some more of these green plant pieces with these flowers with the holes in there surrounded by tan pieces. Here in the back we just have more exposed of the base plate and a step right there along with this door. Uh, I'm gonna see you back in a second because I'm gonna get situated so I can show you what's all inside the the buildings there. Okay, here we are at the top of the roof with just some plates here that are exposed. Well, you can put anything on top really. Just like this chimney here, you could put another one maybe over here. Here in the back of the fence here is just more fence with uh, more of these microphone uh, like light type pieces, but they're just all blanked out with gray. Uh, this just peels right back on off and uh, just like that and it's all like I was saying earlier in this video is there's jumper plates which make these come off very easily here here in the back of here uh, and just this can also pop off here and there you can see a bed there uh, the back window there uh, in you know these part of the roof here that you can they're exposed there's a lamp there with a, a, a little plant there and a pot there with a picture of a bridge that is printed that is held on by a snap brick and a drawer there in a nice big bed as, as you've seen and like I said these come off really easily and just pop off right like that here down in this one let me just move this to the side here You can see down there, these actually open up and you can get some kitchen essentials what are that's in the food, probably dry, like salt, pepper, you know, uh, you know, anything that's dry in there, unopened things. There's a drawer down in there with a nice countertop there. Here I was seeing here is the fireplace here. Uh, this is a nice fireplace there. Right next to the table with uh, tea or coffee on the table with the daily newspaper. Here there is another printed picture there. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take this off. Make it better for you guys. I'm not sure what this is for. Maybe it's like a little lounge area, bed area. Like you just watch out the window. You know, sometimes what cats do. Here's the door I was talking about. Right there with a uh, yellow, uh, with a darker yellow or orange mat there. Held on by these microphone pieces again, which the umbrellas there and a uh, hat there. There's a nice little uh, another planter there, and that is it until you make it up the stairs, which is then an L-shaped uh, that goes up to the stairs with the holding it up there. And here I was ta talking about where the door is down there. This door opens up, closes, and you can see there's a ladder here, just anything little, and that boy can get his uh, plane back down from the tree. This is a very simple ladder build, that just stores right in there. More steps leading up into the main entrance of the house, uh, which actually there's the door there. Let me open that door if I can. And you open that door, you can see right down there. Anyway, I think this is where this, uh, this is where she, the one lady, does her work, or the man. There is a foot pedal thing there. Maybe I don't know what that's for. And there's some uh, there's a bag of some sort just laying on a uh, small, simple table with a modified brick there, with held, holding uh, some scissors there. 
who knows, maybe she is a hairstylist and cuts people's hair or uh, anything down there. And these all simply just go back on. Just like this. focus right there here let's take a look at the the bookshop uh, yes the bookshop here here is the nice uh, top part of this this part pulls back on off just like that and these are all held up nicely with all these bigger slow brick pieces there and this part doesn't come off just that here you can see the tank with the chameleon in there that is a nice little animal piece if you want to get for a zoo it's probably I'm sure it's a few a few cents more here's a nice smaller bed uh, I'll probably put the minifigure there now and there's a uh, one by two rick there so you can put them nice there and here is where you'll see take this off and you can see the hole down there is where you walk up the stairs mm. sorry about that i take this one off as well there's a nice grandfather clock there uh, in there and you can if you could see there's a clear trans clear uh, plate there I think or tile here is a lamp uh, post on the side there with a nice big chair there this, this I really like this room. The nice green, it's nice and older style. Uh, it's like an old, you know, as this older guy minifigure is. Uh, it's just a normal uh, house for him and does his uh, work there, or office work. Whatever. There's a nice circle rug there, and like I said, there's the big stairs, and here is the hole where you come up the other side there, and here is the entrance to the outside of the porch area. And here is pretty much a big area, but it's, nothing comes off here. Any, actually, this does. This part comes off as push the upper stairs to get up to the living area, the home area, uh, with more of these fences so you don't fall off the ledge and just the area to walk on. And right there, as you can see, let me zoom in a little more. Is where there's a whole bunch of books lined up and they're right uh, tiles on snot bricks with the, on top of a counter on top of more snot bricks that we used. Here's the cash register down there uh, with some books that somebody has bought, and I really like this tiling work down there. It is nice and older in style, like I said before. Same thing with these stairs here as well. On the other side here is the another uh, counter area bookshelf with a whole bunch of books there and right there you can see window there's windows pieces there along with the other side so you can see through the shop there and again I really like this older style and the green there it's just a really nice older type look uh, definitely retro type style there and these simply just oh after these simply just pop back on after I put this on, just like that. Uh, I think this area looks. Uh, better here you can see these just are a little off but that makes this looks cooler I think this part looks cooler just like that uh, it's not too bad and you don't want it too perfect here on along the other side there's some just an extra it's not bricks I think they're holding there but it just looks like somebody misplaced some uh, bricks there or yeah bricks here on the other side it's not too bad other than the slopes that make it down there and again the same thing 
And that is it, everybody, for the build. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned for more of this bookshop because I am I think I said before I'm going to add a light tailing LED kit to this. Uh, so this can light up and you can see everything in, in there better. And like I said, please subscribe and stay tuned and tell me what you think about this build here. Did you like it? Uh, uh, should I get the police station? That is one thing I would I think I am going to get the police station But should I I'm probably gonna get the corner garage before it retires. I'm not gonna get the assembly square It's too expensive. Although when I get older I might get it I'm not sure I'll explain that maybe in a uh, Creator expert modular building video and I will probably wait f until we see what happens 2022 modular because it is right around the corner uh, anyway that's it for now, guys, and we'll see you later.